Alright, um, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on what part of the world you're in right now. Um, I just want to, you know, shoot a quick video on, um, on the issues with blockchain right now, because I know quite a number of people, uh, complaining based on the number of unconfirmed transactions, because if you check, um, blockchain right now, you have okay it's actually even gone down because before we we're having about over 200,000 unconfirmed transactions but right now you're having about 159,000 which is actually still a whole lot um because i believe it's supposed to be ranging from um 50,000 thereabouts and less but once you're having this number of unconfirmed transactions it begins to create some sort of discomfort whenever you're sending or whenever you're receiving bitcoins from anyone at all um sorry my voice is a little bit low because um i was having a cold but you know actually getting better so um what i just want to quickly show you guys is what to do when you're having an unconfirmed transactions how to quickly you know accelerate it um Sometimes when you use this method, I'm going to show to you, it may take an hour, it may take um, two hours, three hours, but you're rest assured that in less than 24 hours, your transaction should get confirmed instead of waiting for um, three days, five days, you know, thereabouts. So you have to go to this site called um, VIBTC. I'm going to drop it on the link under the video so you could check it out. Now, all you need is what your transaction hash ID and you just choose from this capture but you have to use it at a particular time now what's the time right now this is 9 57 a.m and um you have to do it on the dot of every hour like you know so usually what i do is i set my alarm um if i have any unconfirmed transaction let me see i have one here right now um that i'm trying to confirm in one of my accounts um okay yeah i think it's one of these accounts there about anyways um so basically i just need the transaction hash id now and i'm sure you you should know how to get your hash id right now and all you need to do is go to whatever transaction that is pending um cl click on this now you see that's my alarm sounding and meaning that okay guy it's time to go i have to set this alarm because oh hold on let me just pause it there I have to set the alarm because um, I need to be closer to the time so I don't have to you know wait for too long so right now if you click on this arrow it shows you you know the hash ID but that's actually not the one I want to confirm right now this is the one I, I still showing unconfirmed so I copy this um, hash ID out make sure you copy it correctly without an extra space you come to the via BTC site and um, you paste now usually you would want to paste and quickly test it to confirm if it's okay you just insert the capture and you click on what submit you should get an error message now what is it saying it's saying submissions are beyond limits please try later usually if it should go through you'll see um i think acceleration succeeded but right now what you're seeing is submissions are beyond limits so we just want to get it at the right time and that right time is going to be on the dot of um right now it's going to be in the dot of the hour which is 10 a.m so i just have my um time piece here trying to make sure that i do that at the right time so um sometimes why you also want to test it is so that you don't have this error saying transaction does not exist you could read more why you could have this error maybe the person that sent it to you before that time had um, pending transactions also or the fee he used was too low you know various reasons but let's get back to business i paste that same hash id here and i choose this capture axbc once the capture is not too oops it's time so i click on it good ah i got carried away so now that i clicked on it i should get a better message this time around let's see um what's it going to show good now you see this message here saying acceleration succeeded now 
all I needed to do was make sure that I hit it on the dot of 10. So I was just watching out for my um, the time. Uh, if I do it right now, I'm still going to get an error. Though I have already sent that one. So you have to make sure that, you know, your hour and the second hand is um, meeting at the dot of the hour. You know, so that's just what's going to make it work. So for that transaction, this particular one, all I need to do is just wait um in an hour or more but i'm sure probably in less than 24 hours i'm gonna have that um done so the only second thing i wanted to show you i don't know if i can do that in this video is what to do when um you're sending out cash sorry when you're sending out bitcoin sorry uh when you're sending out bitcoin you need to put the right um transaction fee um, I'm just gonna show you an example come to this website called Bitcoin fees yeah Bitcoin fees .co. now I'm not really gonna go because I'm trying to make this video as short as possible you could go to the site and read more about it but I'm just gonna show you um, what's best to use now you're watching out for this color that is green the highest green color they've already done the math for you and um, they've given you the calculation so all you need to do is copy out this value in satoshis and um, take it to your advanced um, column or your advanced field when you're sending out Bitcoin um, let's see for example I want to send out Bitcoin from here now all I need to do is paste my um, the wallet address wherever I'm sending it to and then I click here advanced send now you see this part that shows um, BTC this value here um, all you need to do okay hold on let me see if I could just make um, an example as you mean I wanted to send to this address I click uh, from here I'll just use the address that has the highest amount um, I click maybe I want to send about one Bitcoin for example and um, I click on advanced send now right now this is the value it's giving me in Bitcoin so I just need to paste um, I think if I do it's supposed to be three zeros let's let's try that and then paste here oh, your fish too small okay sorry um, oops, uh, come here, copy, I think I copied this before, go back here and paste, mm, cool, yeah, so, um, all you need to do is come to this site, at the time, you know, because we're trying to make sure that this confirms in 30 minutes, so this is actually the right uh, amount to use right now you could test it yourself because I mean this is um, this this has been working for me um, you get your transaction confirmed in 30 minutes or less so you have to know the right amount of um, sorry excuse me you have to know the right amount of fees to use per time and this value is not um, static it's dynamic you could come back here um, in an hour or two and it changes or in one minute or two minutes I don't know it changes because the miners um, are actually treating um, a certain bytes of transactions um, per time so you just you're, you're just trying to know which one is best for you right now so this is actually you know what's best and like I said they've done the math for you you could read more about it because I don't want to take this too long um, and then you come to your transaction is it yeah here you just paste this and you could click on send uh, I have to cancel this so I don't make a mistake <laughs> okay cool so that's it guys just to show you what to do when your transactions are unconfirmed and how to send um, Bitcoin to anyone with the right um, fee so you could share this with your teammates um, you know and you know what to do uh, for my Gladia coin pips, um, sorry I've not done, I've not updated my videos in a while. 
um, right now and I've just done about 5.48555 Bitcoin so far on one of my accounts because I have three accounts right now and then if we check the value of this um, let's use Coindesk I'm just gonna paste in so you see the value of that right now of what I've made so far that's just about eleven thousand dollars um, eleven thousand dollars I started this program on the 30th of March and um, it's been going you know so good but like I said I'm gonna drop the link um for the bitcoin fees to use and then the transaction accelerator so you could check it out if you want to know more about gladio coin um you just buzz me drop a message um either under the video or follow me on facebook send me a message um or any other social media platform and i could get you started immediately so um signing out right now guys take care